Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. This week I'm gonna talk about Angular Storybook and in particular adding add-ons to our Angular Storybook, right? To get more functionality within storybook.js and our Angular project. Hi, so for this tutorial we have an Angular application where we have a task component but Yes, right. Where we have our task component, and then we have our task stories .ts, right. So if we go and take a look at the top, we will see that we have an object which has a title task and exclude stories there. And then of course here we have this is just our our title of our story, right? And then here we have our actions data. Then we have our on pin task and our on archive task, and then here we have our task data. And here it has a title test task, it has a state task inbox, and it has an update add, and then just a date right. We start with our default story, and then we have some properties here task, on pin task, and archive task. We have our pint uh, story here where we have our state task pint, right? And then we have the same for archive and we have here our task archived uh, state, right? So we have three different stories right here. So if we run this, we can just do that with your uh, story book. He will prepare everything to start our story book, right? And then we can just test out our stories from our task component.ts. So um, Storybook is very powerful to just isolate these components and to bring them into an iframe and it makes it easy to test just these components out. So if you want to build a very powerful and strong application, I really recommend you to uh, use Storybook. It will help you to uh, write cleaner code, which will be only around the components itself. And so the business logic will be put into your Angular application separately from your components, right? which is a very uh, good thing. The other uh, great thing is when you want to hand over certain components to another developer, it's much easier to just dive into Storybook, see how it looks like, which kind of state it has, and how you can operate against these components, right? So these are the really big advantages to start using Storybook. I saw a lot of uh, interest into uh, Storybook on my YouTube channel, so I thought, well, let's create, um, let's create another tutorial around it. So now he's just restarting a storybook here for me. You'll see uh, here we have a welcome to storybook. So we have some examples where you can uh, go over with. You can also just delete them, but but I I didn't. And then here you see we have our ta uh, title task, and then we have our default, our pinned, right, and our archived. So. When we do here pins, we can just click on it and you will see that we have here our actions on the pin task where we have here the value that comes out of it. And uh, when we have our default, I don't know, we can also pin it right. So great, that's it. So let's go and see how we can apply the knobs. The knobs. Uh, add on to it, right? So, next thing that we need to do is to install the Storybook add on knobs, right? So, we can very easily do that with npm install dash d add storybook slash add on dash knobs, right? So, let's do that also and we'll see how it further looks like when it's been installed into our Angular application. So now we need to look into the folder of Storybook and there we have main.js, right? And then here we can very easily add our add-on. 
right so here we put at storybook slash add on dash knobs all right so now we have add on knobs there but that's not enough if you're gonna look into a storybook you will see that he doesn't have knobs enabled already so next thing that we need to do is to add it to uh, tasks.story.ts so here we will add uh, knobs right so we will add it right here and then here we have decorators And then we have width knobs slash and now we have knobs in our task stories right so that's already one thing so now we need to do another thing so now we can go to our default right here and we can add the following thing we can add our object and then here our task which is just uh, a label here for our task data and then within the interface of storybook you will be able to just uh, adapt and change task data on the fly and just test the components to its limits so q a uh, engineers can really test it out putting a lot of uh, data through it uh, and see if it breaks. So that's a really great thing to do so. So let's see how this looks like within the storybook itself. So of course we need to restart our um, storybook. So we will do so as well. So just restart it so you can pick up the right configuration and also use the add-on right so that's a very important thing because otherwise he couldn't know that he also needed to start storybook with the right add-on right so for that just do that keep that in mind that uh, you restart your storybook One thing that I also want to mention is that Storybook also allows it to uh, test your components within different viewports. You can also define your viewports there if you want to have some great testing there for your components separately. So that's also a very great and nice feature to know, right? So I hope you still enjoy it. To watch this tutorial um, I have a lot of uh, fun to create this tutorial for you guys so um, still compiling and here we go here we are he's refreshing storybook for us and here we go we have our knobs there of course I can make it a little bit smaller so we have our knobs right here you see here that we have knobs right and then i can change the title so maybe i'm gonna do it right here and i'm gonna say this is the tutorial with one text how will this look like and then you see that our text is going wrong right because it's too big maybe we need to have three dotted things right here so you can just program that there very easily test things out uh, with add cases it's very easy to just add your json object there so that you can see how this looks like 
um, within the browser. Right. Of course, here also you can change your um, state right to to make the pinned or an archived. So in this case, knobs are really great to do so. Uh, you will see if you go here, you will see that no knobs found. So for that, it's very important to use the object uh, that, that, that we have used uh, before there. And then you can have uh, the abilities to just change the uh, JSON object that uh, you provided. And then you have some kind of way to very easily uh, change uh, the inputs of your components uh, by uh, a developer or a tester or a Q&A engineer and so on. So that's a really great, right? So we learned how to activate um, components and how to use knobs in this case. Um, but if you want to use other components, you can very easily do so. Uh, just go over them. For example, this one, source, you can very easily go to that uh, add-on and then see how it works, right? Uh, here you have source, and then you can very easily change your uh, add-on, your story source, right? Uh, you just... Um, add it there and then of course um, need to configure certain things but yeah you don't need to activate it here it's just one thing um, that you need to do but for every for every um, add-on you will have some kind of explanation I guess so here for example this one has its own um, explanation and then you have here a tab controls and then you can just change your controls one of the things that i just can recommend is just look into which kind of uh, add-ons are there and then activate them mainly the the, the most part of these add-ons is just adding them to the uh, main.js in the dot story book right and certain things uh, needs to be added also in the story itself. But then when you need to do so, like for example, um, in, in this one, in the controls, then you want to have something like archetypes, background color, color, control color, you can very easily do so. And you have some kind of explanation what you need to do so by um, using these add-ons. Viewport and build responsive components by adjusting storybooks viewports size and orientation but certain certain um, add-ons are already being added into the essentials and you can very easily use them itself maybe i will also create a tutorial how to create your own um, add-on it's also very great to do so you'll see thank you very much if you liked this uh this session about storybook please like uh, my video if I get a lot of likes on this video, I will create another video of Storybook. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel. Support me as much as you can. Uh, thank you very much and see you next time.